So, so funny story. I did Vlogmas Day 2, but I kind of accidentally did delete that footage. So, thankfully though, it was just a Q&A, and I still have all the questions, so I'm just going to redo it. Pretend it's Vlogmas Day 2, and yeah, we're just going to, you know, roll with it. Basically, what I did yesterday was I worked all day, and I got home really, really late, and I was exhausted. So, Wednesdays and Fridays is definitely just going to be like a Q&A type, like, videos. Maybe, like, I'll react to some things or something like that, like old photos, funny videos, etc., etc. Just because I really have no time to actually vlog those days unless, like, spontaneously I decide to do something interesting. So, for yesterday's video, I did a Q&A, and I answered some of you guys' questions that I didn't answer in last month, last couple months' video of a Q&A. So, I'm going to answer it again, and I don't remember if I answered some of these or if I didn't, so I'm just going to read through the ones that I saw, and let's get started. So, the first one is Jenny Marie O'Connor, and she asks, do you have any siblings? And, yes, I do. I have an older stepsister named Sarah, who's 21, I have an older half-sister named Samantha, who's 29 in, like, 10 days. Samiha Anaman asks, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? And basically, it was just Bethany Moda's, like, story of, like, bullying and, like, how she overcame that and everything like that. And basically, I started a YouTube channel when a lot of things were going on in my life. Like, it was school. It was just drama with, like, an ex-boyfriend. Um, my parents were divorcing. Um, just a lot of just things, influential things that was happening in my life. And to top it all off, I still wasn't 100% comfortable in my skin. Like, I'm pretty much comfortable in my own skin now. But back then, I still wasn't that comfortable. And so, I still felt a lot of insecurities because of my bullying story. And I started watching Bethany Moda. And I basically inspired to be like her and to help young girls that weren't as confident in their skin like I was. So, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Denise Zuniga asks, what is your favorite color? And it's like pastels. It's like teals and light pinks and stuff like that. But mostly teal. I love it. And they also ask, favorite YouTuber, who would you like to meet? And my favorite YouTuber, I got Bethany Moda. And that's who I would love to meet as well. Samiha Anaman asks, what's your favorite ho what's your hobby? And I have a lot. It's not just one. I love anything to do with YouTube, watching videos, editing, filming, um, pretty much anything that involves YouTube. I'm all in. I love to read and I love to write. I love to hang out with my family and my friends and my boyfriend and stuff like that. Um, I love playing with my cat, who is, I think, currently sleeping. Um, so, yeah. Nightmare asks, do you like anime and which ones do you watch? And I love anime. I've literally just loved it since like high school and I've actually been to Otakon which was so amazing if any of you guys ever get the chance to go like I, if you guys are like anime hearts and stuff I totally recommend it it was so much fun just a great experience a little bit pricey but totally worth it I feel like in my opinion because it was just like a once in a lifetime experience I feel like because there's nothing really else like out there like that so I think it's really really cool and the ones I watch is a lot. Um, my favorite is probably Orange High School Host Club. That one has just always been like on a repeat of mine. Um, I love the Vampire Vampire Night. Um, when I was little, I watched like Alice Academy. I saw Sugar Shara. I saw Special A, Karacha Rame Sama, Naruto, uh, Black Butler. I seen a little bit of Death Note. Um, just like the typical ones, I love it. I think it's just like a great, like just a great fun thing. And I definitely like it more than like American, just regular cartoons. Like I feel like those are stupid. So, Mahisha Stapleton, I probably wish that so badly, asks, what are your thoughts on music and do you only like one genre? And no, I actually love a lot of genres. I love pop, hip hop, uh, pop rock, I think it's called. Um, I listen to some regular rock. I love it. Country. Um, I just feel like if I like the beat and I like the lyrics, then I like it. Hi, <laughs> Magenta. How was your first year of college? Thoughts and tips. And my first year went okay. Um, made some friends. I haven't really lost any friends. Um, it was good. Some drama and stuff like that. But I feel like I got over it pretty quickly. 
Uh, grades were okay-ish. I feel like the first year is really, really hard for some reason, like especially the first semester because you're definitely not used to it. Um, I definitely recommend taking it slow the first semester or two just like get the hang of it. Tala Campbell asks, what do you want to be when you grow up? Favorite place to travel? And I want to go when uh, I'm in college for psychology right now. Um, so yeah, but my plan is to get my master's, to work a little bit, gain experience, go back, get my PhD, start my own business, and then eventually go back to school and get my, I guess, doctorate, I think they call it. So I have 12 years of school, not including CCBC for like three years. So pretty much it's like 13 years of school. It's not fun. Um, and favorite place to travel, well, I've been to Ukraine the most. Um, I've been to California once, which was amazing. I'm, I want to go back so badly. Um, so one of my favorite places is definitely California and Ukraine, just because of like family and stuff. Um, but I definitely want to go to Japan. I love the culture there. Like, who else agrees with me here? Um, so I think it's so beautiful, and I just love the atmosphere. I feel like I think it would be a see. I can't speak. I think it would just be like one of those really cool places to visit that is just so unbelievable. And Janet M asks, what is your favorite drug drugstore brand? And mine is probably Maybelline New York. Um, I definitely use that, like their products the most. So, Denise Denuga asks, what are you doing for summer? And that was my email. Um, I don't remember if I answered this for a lot for last year's summer, but this summer I actually have a lot planned. Um, me and my dad are planning to take a motorcycle trip up to Maine and like up to Canada and stuff like that, which is so cool. I never been like up north except for upstate New York when I went skiing with my best friend and her family and family friends and stuff. Um, so, but I've never been like up there before, so I think it would be really cool. And if I did go up there, I never really like looked around and stuff like that. So I think that's really really cool. I'm really excited for that. Um, then my boyfriend's brother is actually in the military and he's stationed in like Hawaii. So his family might be going next summer and they invited me and said if they go, I can go too. And of course I said yes, I've never been to Hawaii and I would be, that would just be like an amazing trip. I feel like I think it would be so awesome. And then my grandma is actually flying from Ukraine back here for like almost the entire summer, I feel like, for my 20th birthday. Um, because we couldn't go over there because of like the war and stuff like that and just because it just was not safe. Um, so I think me, her, and my mom, and maybe my little sister is going to go to the Outer Banks. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I have a lot planned for the summertime. So I think that is actually it. So I'm sorry about like the confusion. The next clip you see will be from yesterday. I just accidentally deleted the Q&A part of this. Typical me. So I will see you guys today actually with my brand new vlog. And yeah. Sorry about the confusion. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to delete it. I just, it all looked the same to me. And I was really tired when I deleted it. So yeah. So I will see you guys again tomorrow with my today's day three vlogmas vlog. Which is why I will look the exact same when you see me tomorrow. Hey guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this like Q&A style video. I just actually finished taking a bath because I was so sore and so tired. And baths always, always relax me. So I actually just finished taking one. My hair's kind of wet. I didn't really want to get it wet. But, you know, never th things never work out like you want it to. So I'm in this giant oversized hoodie. And it's literally the comfiest little thing. It's, like, so awesome. And I got it for, like, three bucks at Kohl's. A fun fact, it's actually a guy's hoodie. But, yeah, it is 7.03. And I think I'm going to go to... And just end this vlog off now. I hope you guys like enjoyed this like Q&A style video. If you guys want more of this, make sure to thumbs it up. And leave some Q&A comments down below. Because I'm definitely going to do one again on Friday. Because I work until 5 again. So yeah. So make sure you thumbs it up. And I will see you guys tomorrow. With a brand new Vlogmas video. Which should be a lot more entertaining than this one. Just saying. So yeah. Bye guys.